This time of year in Tennessee, we're so lucky to be surrounded with beautiful flowers and greenery. Recently, Live Green visited the home of Carol Coleman, who is, to say the least, an avid gardener. Carol's hobby has now spread across her yard to include several gardens with a wide variety of flowers, waterfalls, and beautiful trees. But there's also a wealth of memorabilia placed throughout Carol's gardens. Whether it's benches fashioned from the old state capitol steps or the bird bath tracing back to her third grade teacher, Carol has merged memories with natural beauty in her own backyard. Well, this was my first major start on gardening. Uh, I had seen a lot of uh, gardens and um, I have a lot of gardening books that has some beautiful gardens from Europe. And so I designed this garden and um, I knew that I wanted just the squares uh, with the circle in the center and my sundial. And um, it was just something I had seen and wanted to do. So this was a spot, it was a low spot and it just looked like the perfect spot for that design. Uh, the next garden, when we first uh, did our landscaping at, on the house, we had climbing roses on the house and they got to be a real chore trying to take care of them and cut them. And so he said, if, if you'll let me cut the roses, then we'll start a waterfall. I have a lot of uh, interesting plants. As, if you can see a little later, the uh, huge hostas up there in the shade. And uh, we have the spirea, which has already bloomed. It's a pink spirea. They have some uh, zinnias and some uh, miniature sunflowers. But a lot of the sun ferns. Uh, and I have some knockout roses. And I have water lilies in the pond. Uh, we had some beautiful yellow iris that were blooming and as you can see now we have the pickled uh, weed. Today I just wanted to explain to you a little about the, the, the benches that I have here. Uh, I was very fortunate to be able to purchase them. Uh, they are the limestone steps that came out of the Tennessee State Capitol when it was renovated in the 70s. Uh, this is an interesting piece that I just uh, uh, bought. It is a bird bath, uh, and it, uh, uh, the owner of it was my third grade teacher, Miss Bess Mofill. So I'm really happy to have that piece uh, to remind me of her. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, five or six blueberry bushes, and up at the top, we have an orchard. We have peaches and pears and apples and uh, plums and cherries. Uh, the next garden, this is my memorial garden, and as you can see, everything in my garden uh, is white. So uh, this is in memory of uh, some of my close relatives. The start of the garden is uh, some miniature boxwoods. Uh, I have the hydrangeas here are called Blushing Bride, and um, then I have some um, heirloom miniature roses. And uh, if you can see the arches here, they are autumn clematis. And about August, they start to bloom and that whole arch is white. But we've had weddings, had a lot of graduation pictures and um, a lot of senior people have come to have pictures made here in this garden. Um, I guess I got my love for gardening because of my grandmother, uh, Mommy Maynard. And uh, Mommy loved flowers, and as a little girl, I would love to go to her house because she always had beautiful flowers everywhere. Uh, this peony has been moved four times, and I'm hoping this is gonna be its permanent home. But this was her peony when she lived out um, in Allens. And uh, when she moved to town, it, it was moved to the house that she lived there. And then my aunt moved it twice. And after she passed away, her husband called and said, I want you to come and get Mommy Maynard's peony because uh, 
I know that, uh, that Liz would want you to have it. It's, it's a challenge and uh, you've got to be tough to be a gardener. It's a lot of hard work and uh, you get a lot of scrapes and bruises and, uh, but I love it. I love my gardens and uh, I don't mind the sun and a lot of hard work, but it takes a lot of rain and a lot of sunshine to get a garden to grow.